Senator, I have represented a number of clients over the course of my career. I have represented the government. I have represented clients. So you don't have any problem I, with this? You, stand, you think this is a good idea? You stand by Senator, it? Senator, no my regrets. job in that representation was to vigorously represent my clients, which I did. Sure, but we'd established, I think, a second ago, I thought you told Senator Kennedy that you resigned from Jones Day over a client that the firm was representing who you didn't like. Senator, that is not at all what I said. I did you didn't resign from Jones Day? Senator... I did not resign from Jones Day because of any particular representation. Oh, I, so it wasn't a, it wasn't a moral, you had no moral quandaries? Absolutely not, Senator. I you left had no the, moral quandaries with any of the cases at Jones Day? That's your testimony? Senator, I left the firm in January of 2021 because I was offered an opportunity to return to public service. It's okay. an opportunity the firm supported and that I took. You had no quandaries with them representing in the Trump litigation. You had Senator, no problem with that. That's your testimony. Senator, I did not leave my firm because of that representation. You had I no left moral my problem firm. With it. Senator, I left the firm months later because I received an opportunity to you return to public service. You had no problem with that, and you service. had no problem representing the bondholders. So your, your testimony is you're, you're happy to represent anybody who comes your way. Donald Trump, you bet. The bondholders, you bet. Hedge funds, you bet. Whoever. That's, that's your testimony? I just want to make sure I got it right. Senator, throughout my career, I have adhered to the code of ethics that all lawyers are bound by. Well, sure, but the code of ethics allow you to make money from anybody. I'm, I'm, listen, you can choose your clients. I'm not accusing you of any ethical violations at all. I'm not. I'm, I'm just trying to figure out why you thought it was important to have these hedge funds as your clients and if you had any moral quandaries. And your testimony is you didn't have any moral quandaries, which is fine, but I just wonder if that's the best judgment. 